Hi, Vanner Fanner family. Today is another Q&A video. Today's Q&A video is sponsored by Nomad Internet. The link is down below. And don't forget to use the discount code CrystalVanner25. Today's Q&A is going to be a short one, and it's about hair, and it comes from April. April's question is, Hi, Crystal. I'm just starting transitioning to a natural hairstyle. Did you cut your hair off at any point? April. Thank you for your question, April. And if you have a question for me, definitely email it to me at crystal at crystalvanner.com. Don't forget to put Q&A as your subject line. So April, I'm going to put the hair video playlists up here in the corner. I'm never sure which corner it pops out on because I think my videos flip when I do the editing process. So I always put my hand on one or the other and it's always wrong and I can't remember. <laughs> but yes, I did do a big chop. However, let me just say this. I was a licensed cosmetologist for 22 years. I took cosmetology in high school, my junior and senior year of high school. Normally you would take it your sophomore, junior and senior year, but I did not make the decision to go into cosmetology until later. When I realized that I was not going to be going to college, I knew the school was not for me. Secondary education was not going to be for me. So I wanted to do something besides like retail or restaurant. And so I decided to take cosmetology. I never was a big doing my hair type person, but I decided that this was something good because it would also allow me at some point in my life to have my own business, so I thought. So that's what I did. Now, I was able to go and take the Virginia Cosmetology Board exams based on competency, not based on hours. Normally, you'd have a certain amount of hours, and I want to say at that time it was like, I don't know, 1,800 hours or something like that. I don't know what it is or what it was. Since I didn't have um, all those hours from that third year of cosmetology, my teacher filled out a form and some paperwork to the state board saying that she was confident that I was competent enough to pass the test. And I was. I passed it on the first try. I believe only a few of us were able to do it on the very first try. I knew some other girls in cosmetology that had taken it all three years and had to take the test twice. So I do pat myself on the shoulder for being able to do that the very first time out. So by the time I graduated high school, June 1990, I already had my license. I had taken my exam just before school ended, so I already had my license. I worked in and out of different salons. I was an assistant manager twice at two different hair cutteries. So I do have experience with doing hair. Now, all through my teens and all through um, pretty much my 20s and the majority of my 30s, I did do relaxers to my hair, which is a chemically straightening, straightening my hair. So yes, I had all that. I did not relax my hair as often as most people did, just because I'm a lazy person when it comes to hair. The, the less I do to my hair, the better it seems to thrive. And so I've listened to it over the years. I've learned to just let it be and do its own thing. So I never really um, did a whole lot to my hair. Never really experimented with color on my own hair. I did used to use the jazzing. I don't know. I'll try and find a picture and put it on the screen. But I used to use the jazzing in that um what is it? I don't know the color, but it was more it was like a it was like a um black, but not really a black, like a blue black or something like that. I used to use that and I would use the clear jazzing as well. It always seemed to give my hair a lot of body after using that, and it's a semi-permanent color. Um gradually washes out. So I never really dabbled in permanent color for my hair. Never, never really saw the need to, never really um, felt the desire to color my hair. Um, I really like short hair. I have had longer hair before, but I really like short hair. I prefer short hair, so I was always cutting my hair to the, um, <laughs> to the dismay of other people in my life. They hated that I kept my hair short because you can grow hair. This is what I used to hear. You can grow hair. Your hair will grow. Why do you keep cutting it? I just like short hair. I don't know. I am in the middle right now. I'm jumping ahead of um, starting locks. These locks, these baby locks, and I don't know, my lighting is not that great in this um, room, but these locks were started on July 10th of this year, 2020. Thank you, Eve, for helping me start my locks. 
And I have some budding here and there, but they are really, really frizzy. I'm trying to not comb them out. This is the third time starting locks um, in the probably the last several years, maybe 10 years, um, maybe seven years. This is the third time starting locks. And each time I comb them out because I just didn't have the patience. I'm really trying to be patient. I know it takes six months to a year, sometimes more to lock. I can see where some areas of my hair will lock quicker than others because on one head of hair, you can have several different textures of hair, um, especially if you're a curly or a kinky or a coily. You're going to have lots of different textures. You're going to have some looser, some kinkier, some tighter. Some is just going to feel different, look different. And I'm also dealing with gray hairs and gray hairs tend to do their own thing completely. So there's that. <laughs> But I officially, officially, officially went natural, meaning no chemical in my hair, no color, no relaxer, no nothing, 100% natural in 2010. Up until that point, probably five years prior to that, I was relaxing my hair maybe two times a year, two to three times a year. I want to say the last time I really dabbled in relaxing my hair semi-regularly was probably 2005-ish, 2006-ish, but really I, um, by the time 2007 rolled around, October, specifically October of 2007, I really was trying to be 100% natural. It didn't come about until 2010 that I did the big chop the first time, and I will be putting pictures on the screen as I'm talking so you can see this. But I did the big chop for the first time in 2010, and I let it grow out. Had a TWA, which means teeny weeny afro. Did that for a while, but I've always been one to not fear the scissors, just chop it all off. So in answer to your question, yes, I did transition by chopping. I did grow out to about an inch and then chopped it all off. I like short hair. I know a lot of people have a difficult time. I'll tell you what I did do, and I'll put my wedding picture up here. Um, I did do a lot of roller sets and rod sets while transitioning and that might help you out it's basically where you're growing your relaxer out still be still use really good products and i recommend always i'm not sponsored by them but i should be i always recommend hydra therma natural products i'll put the link on the screen and down below i even link that playlist to the hydra therma naturals um playlist that i have love those products still use them today even as a locked um natural so I would recommend if you're going to transition, use really good products and a little goes a long way with those products. So I know you're looking at the price tag thinking, wow, this is kind of expensive. It is, but honestly, a little goes a long way. And even if you just get the daily moisturizer and the daily oil and that's it, your hair will thank you. Trust me. Use a little of those and do roller sets or rod sets. Basically, when you cleanse your hair, uh, condition your hair, decondition your hair. Do that about every two weeks. Um, a lot of people want to do it once a week. I was always someone who could go two weeks and even three weeks without cleansing my hair. Now I go even longer. And roll your wet hair on regular rollers, like back in the day, not sponge rollers, hard rollers, and sit under a dryer or, you know, hang around, do it early in the morning on a Saturday or your day off and let it air dry. I did that a lot because I hate sitting on the dryer. Or rods, like perm rods, perm rods that um, are used for a cold wave perm. I would do those too. Um, I would get the bigger perm rods and roll my hair up on those. Uh, use end papers if you're going to use perm rods. Really, you can use end papers with whatever roller you should. It helps, you know, get those ends tucked in there real good. A very little bit of setting lotion, just very little bit. Lot of body is the one that I recommend. Water it down. It is a concentrate. Put it in a spray bottle. Uh, you'll find the formula that works best for you. I probably did one part lot of body to like three parts water. I kept mine very mild because I don't like that crunchy feel. I don't like product feel in my hair um, when it comes to styling products. So definitely do that if you're going to transition. So I did transition for mm, several months until I decided to just big chop it off. And when I big chopped it off, I probably had about this much hair on my head that was natural. Now, granted, curly, kinky hair. You may see this much, but when you stretch it out or blow it out, it can be twice that long or even more. So I kept that little afro for a while and then moved on from there. So right now, my hair, you know, it's not super long. 
But remember, I don't know if you remember when I started these, of course it was much shorter than that. I find that the crown of my hair grows the fastest, the front of my hair grows the slowest, the front and the very, very back grows the slowest. The crown grows like a weed. I would always have longer hair here. I always kept a bob when I was a um, little relaxed. Um, when I wore my hair relaxed, I loved a nice bob and I kept an angle bob. I had an asymmetrical bob. I loved the bob. Loved the bob. <laughs> anyway, thank you for your question. Thank you for letting me reminisce about hair. And I will throw some pictures up on the screen for you to see some of the hairstyles that I've had. Enjoy. Thank you for watching another video from start to finish and make sure you're taking care of yourself and whatever it is you're doing, I hope you are enjoying it. This video was sponsored by Nomad Internet. Get a discount by using Crystal Vanner 25 and a special thank you to all my channel partners.